Welcome to today's lesson on comparing decimals. Today we're going to be comparing decimals up to the hundredths place to decide if they are less than, greater than, or equal than another. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to begin comparing decimals today using the visuals on the screen below. We're going to compare our blue visual to our green visual and decide which decimal is larger. So let's go ahead and start with our decimal in blue. As you can see, we have one hole represented that's shaded in. So I'm going to write one hole and put my decimal because now we're moving into our decimals, which is less than a hole. And our hole is divided into 10 parts. So we have three tenths shaded in. So I'm going to put a three in my tenths place. Now let's go ahead and write the value of our green decimal. We also have one hole shaded in. So I'm going to write one hole. And I want you to notice that I'm lining up my place values as I write these down, and I'm lining up my decimals. Now that I've filled in my ones place, I'm going to move to my decimal value. Now as you can see, this block is not split into tenths like our blue block above. We have it split into a hundred different pieces. So each block represents one hundred. So I'm going to put a zero in my tenths place because I don't have a full tenth shaded in. And I'm going to put a three in my hundredths place because I have three hundredths shaded in. Now, when you're comparing decimals and you make sure you've lined up your place values, you've lined up your decimals, if you have one decimal that's longer than the other, you can fill in a zero as a placeholder. And that's gonna help you keep all of your place values lined up. And as you can see, all it did was change three tenths into 30 hundredths. And if we change our tenths into hundredths here, you will see that we didn't change the value or the amount shaded in, we just changed how many pieces we broke it into. So now we're ready to go ahead and compare these decimals. Your first step when you're going to be comparing decimals is to compare your furthest place value to the left. That's going to be your largest value. So we're going to be comparing our ones place to start. Now, as you can see, both decimals have a value of one hole in the ones place. So that means we need to move over to the next place value. We're going to move to the tenths place. Now we need to compare which has a larger value in the tenths place, since our ones place had the same value. And as you can see, we have a three in the tenths place for our number in blue, and a zero in the tenths place for our number in green. But we also can see that with our visual, because we have three full tenths shaded in, whereas in our green number, we don't even have one full tenth shaded in. That means that one in three tenths is our larger number. Now, if we were comparing these numbers and we still have the same number in the tenths place, we would just move over to the next place value to the right and continue on until we found a number that was less than, greater than, or equal to another. Now, when we write this out to compare one and three tenths to one and three hundredths, we rewrite it as one and three tenths is greater than one and three hundredths. Let's go through a practice problem together. I want you to tell me if two and thirty-four hundredths is less than, equal to, or greater than six and twenty-four hundredths. Well, first we need to line these numbers up with their decimals. So I'm going to place two and thirty-four hundredths directly below six and twenty-four hundredths, making sure I line up the decimals. Now I'm going to start in the place value furthest to the left. Since six is larger than two, that means that six and twenty-four hundredths is the larger number. That means that two and thirty-four hundredths is less than six and twenty-four hundredths. Let's go ahead and try another one together. Is one and seven tenths less than, greater than, or equal to seventeen hundredths? Well, we need to line up our decimals to decide. So I'm going to write one and seven tenths below seventeen hundredths. And since one and seven tenths only goes to the tenths place, and 17 hundredths goes to the hundredths place, I'm going to put a zero in here as a placeholder. Now I can compare these numbers. First, I need to start in the ones place because that's the furthest place value to the left. Since one is greater than zero, 
I know that 1 and 7 tenths is the larger number. So that means that 1 and 7 tenths is greater than 17 hundredths. Let's try a word problem together. Jill and Omar are working on a math problem together. Jill argues that 2 and 9 hundredths is greater than 2 and 9 tenths because it's a longer number. Omar disagrees. He says that Jill is forgetting a very important step when comparing decimals. Who is correct? Well, before we can decide who's correct, we need to line up our decimals. So let's go ahead and write out 2 and 9 hundredths. So we're going to write out 2 and 9 hundredths, and then directly below it, we're going to write 2 and 9 tenths. Now we need to make sure that our decimals line up, and that's going to line up the rest of our place values. Since 2 and 9 hundredths goes to the hundredths place, and 2 and 9 tenths only goes to the tenths place, we're going to add a zero to the hundredths place as a placeholder. Now we can go ahead and compare the numbers. We're going to start in the furthest place value to the left. That's the ones place. Since there is a two in the ones place of both of these numbers, we need to move to our next place value over. Since nine is greater than zero, our number in purple is the larger number. Two and nine tenths is greater than two and nine hundredths. Even though two and nine hundredths looks like a longer number, since we have a nine in the tenths place, our two and nine tenths makes this the greater number. That means that Omar is correct. Let's take a moment to review what you've learned in today's lesson. When you're trying to compare decimals, it's important that you line up your decimals so that all of your other place values will be lined up. Your next step is to start furthest to the left. That's going to be your largest place value. You're going to start by comparing these two numbers. If these two numbers are the same, then you're going to move to your next place value over. If these two numbers are the same, then you continue on and compare your next place value over. Now, as you can see with three and 26 hundredths, that three and 26 hundredths has a larger number in the hundredths place than three and 24 hundredths. That means that three and 26 hundredths is the larger number. So when we rewrite this, we're going to compare them by saying that three and 26 hundredths is greater than three and 24 hundredths. 